I'm going to think through what happens in my brain out loud. When I look at a print text, I have negative space. That space is space for my thoughts. I can read it without interruption. And as I start working through it, I can fill that negative space with my questions and my ideas. I can read the poem from the very beginning to the end, and nothing is interrupting me or distracting me from the words themselves. And as I go further, I begin to make some real meaning. It may not be perfect, but I can start to see an argument. It's hard work doing this type of thinking, but because it's hard work, I will remember it later. It's a little different when I see this on screen. There's so much information on the screen and it's really helpful. It definitely helps me understand this poem better. I see an illustration. I see some context. I see some guiding questions and assessment questions, how I might be tested on a, a poem like this. And there's even notes for me to help me understand the definitions, help me understand perhaps a writer's intentions or at least another person's thoughts about those intentions. But there's so much on this page that I can distract, get distracted by. As I look around the page, my eyes move all over. They don't move from the first word to the last word. I'm distracted by all of the content. It's not a bad tool. It's a great tool. But I probably won't remember the poem as well if I spend a lot of time on this page. In fact, though I may have an easier time understanding the poem, my retention might not be as good. The print text allowed me to be hyper-focused. It allowed me to get deep into the meaning of the text and work to make meaning. The digital text gave me a lot of context. It gave me information that helped make meaning too. But if part of my goal in reading is to remember what I read, it's really helpful for me to use print or print similar texts, PDFs, Overdrive, or Kindle format.